What happens hormone levels after we remove the testicles as part of surgical transition uh, for folks assigned male at birth? So typically most folks are on two medications when transitioning. Usually uh, people are on uh, the feminizing hormones, which is estrogen, sometimes also the progestins, and also a, testicular, uh, a testosterone blocker. The most common one that we see used here in the United States is spermolactone. So when we remove the testicles as part of bottom surgery or just by a procedure by itself, um, two things happen. So we're able to stop the testosterone blocker. Obviously, we can get patients off that right away. And then the second thing that happens is oftentimes the estrogen requirement is going to have or certainly drop significantly. So typically what we do is we'll have our patients start back their hormones and have the uh, original dose and then check in and see what our levels are a few weeks later and adjust accordingly.